Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the mm, 9th. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, I don't know what the date is, but I really don't care either. So this is, <laughs> timing is fluid. I don't care what the date is. I don't know what the date is. Okay, so let's see. What do we got for a message today? My phone is on record, connected to the camera, connected to that camera. So if I hit it, anyhow, I'm not going to. I don't care what the date is. So anyhow, what do we have for a message today? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is a setback. It's bad luck. We had that yesterday too, didn't we? So that's repeating, repeating negative patterns. Somebody keeps on going. They're going backwards or they're stalled or they're... It's like the cycle is over, right? It's over. It's trying to end. The cycle is trying to end, but we got somebody got their damn foot in the wheel. Hindering their own fortune. Bad luck, bad karma. Four of Cups. Four of Cups going in the past. So the Four of Cups is distraught, right? We got somebody here that's ignoring something. It's like they're ignoring an opportunity. It's like there's 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 love here, but the Ace of Cups over over behind her. This person appears to be distraught, thinking a lot, maybe involved in a third party situation. It's like there's an opportunity that is being ignored, has been ignored. We got somebody here that is analyzing. They're analyzing, they're thinking a lot, focusing on something that obviously is not making them happy. The next card is the Five of Cups, which is the separation. It's like, it's, I feel like the separation's already happened. Or we have somebody here that is about to separate. They have another opportunity here, but they're ignoring it and they're thinking about, I don't know, somebody that they were committed to or somebody that they once had, you know, a union with, but I feel like another person has entered you know, another person has entered the scene and it's hard to accept. I mean, the decision has already been made. You know, and it's hard to accept that you need to look in another direction. So we have somebody here that has their foot in the wheel. It's like it's already over. It's time to go in that new direction. It's true because because the Four of Cups is looking that way. We have the Ace of Cups near next to the Wheel of Fortune reverse. It's like you're you're hindering your own happiness by staying stuck. So somebody is definitely stuck in a cycle because they're refusing to see or accept. Somebody's ignoring something. They're ignoring something. They're ignoring. I feel like they're ignoring the truth. Oh, look at that. I, that one. We got two. Queen of Wands, Three of Swords. Could be dealing with another woman. May have another woman here. The Queen of Wands can symbolize another woman. Three of Swords is pain, suffering. We definitely have somebody here that is suffering. They're in a lot of pain. They're they over us. There is another woman here. Okay. There is. There's another woman here. We have somebody here that um, 
is really struggling with change. They're really in a lot of pain because they've been torn in two different directions. We have somebody here that has some sort of desires. They are desiring something more, but they're stuck, okay? With that Wheel of Fortune reverse, they're stuck. They're stuck in their emotions, right? This is a choice. It's a very big choice. told you the next card was the five of cups the separation that's in the future I knew it I knew it and then on the bottom is the world card which is a major completion so it starts out with somebody that is not they're getting bad luck they're getting bad karma they are not getting anything fortunate there's no fortune there's no reward in uh, grieving there's no reward in staying stuck and it makes sense because that was yesterday's reading now there's going to be a separation this is grieving over a loss this is the separation this is regret it's difficult it's a very difficult time we have somebody here that is in deep sorrow they've been focusing on the past right this is like if only i'd done this if only i'd done that you know this is somebody that has been hindering their own success, but this is leaving it all behind. It's like stepping into new territory. I do believe there is going to be a separation, okay? I believe there's going to be a separation here. I do. Somebody's about to take action, right? They are. They're about to take action. They're about to do something. It could be spontaneous, but I feel like there's also been a lot of thinking. This is like feeling abandoned, feeling alone, uh, wanting more. We definitely have somebody here that wants more. And I do believe that they're about to do something. This is somebody that is about to do something because they have this desire. They have this strong desire for, you know, passion and excitement and growth in their life. Anyhow, we do have the completion after there's been some sort of delay with that Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is the end, okay? This is the end of a cycle. It's the end of a chapter. This is a lesson learned. This is leaving the past behind, stepping into unknown territory. This is congratulations. This is a major accomplishment. This is it. This is the end. It's the end of a project. It's the end of a phase. This is I've learned my lesson. I'm leaving it all behind. So this is leaving something behind. There could be a change of residence. Somebody may have evolved. You know, they, there's, they've learned some sort of lesson that has caused their evolution. They've really been thinking about their future with that Wheel of Fortune reverse, but they've been delaying. They've been delaying their own fortune, delaying their own rewards, right? This is about allowing and accepting change. It's like... I'm stepping forward. I'm stepping forward. So there definitely could be a change of residence here. This is this is definitely evolution, okay? Leaving it all behind. Leaving it all behind. It's like I'm I'm done. This is the end. It's the end of a journey. It's the last card in the deck. You know, it's the last card for the majors. It is, it's over, it's over. This is like just leaving it all behind, right? This is completing and beginning anew. So it's completing one cycle and beginning a new cycle. This is like, this could, this is something big. It's not something small, okay? This is something big. This was a journey, okay? This was, this was a lesson that needed to be learned the hard way because we only learn the hard way. I don't care what anybody says. So this was a lesson that needed to be learned. So the lesson has been learned. Maybe somebody's been thinking about going in a new direction. They've been they've been hindering their own fortune, right? Repeating the negative patterns with the wheel of fortune reverse and they've received some karma. They have bad luck. When you don't learn from your mistakes and you focus on things that aren't serving you and you keep repeating over and over and over again, there's going to be setback after setback after setback after setback. 
and that's the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So we go from the Four of Cups to the Five of Cups, which is grieving over the separation, crying over the loss, moping, wallowing, wallowing, could be some self-pity here. But action is about to be taken because of that, that Queen of Wands. I do feel like there's another woman. There's another woman or there's another person involved. This person is uh, exciting. They're, they're attractive. You know, they, there's, there's a, a strong desire to uh, go in that direction. I do believe that there is a painful separation here. I absolutely positively do. Knight of Pentacles reversed. This is dropping out. Not interested. You know, we may have somebody here that has been lazy. You know, they didn't want to uh, put in any effort, you know, or they're giving up on something. There could be some disloyalty here, unfaithfulness, uh, laziness, irresponsible, um, even greed. Somebody may have been greedy, you know, they were not being practical, they or they were just holding on for the money. But this is like no 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 uh stability. So there's instability here. We have somebody here that um has been unrealistic. They may have been holding on just for the safety reason reasons, playing it super safe, you know, just yeah, that's probably what it was. Or holding on just for the money. Lazy. Didn't want to build a new foundation because they were lazy. Or because it was safe where they were at. But, you know, there's some... So let me get another card to go with that. Three of Wands. Making a decision. A definite decision. Planning the, for the future. We have somebody here that hasn't been practical. They may have lost money, or yeah, they may have. They may, may have made some poor financial decisions. They may be losing jobs or losing money or losing stability or something like that because of their inability to take action. You know, karma, we have karma here with the, with the uh, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Somebody has been stalling their fortune, right? And they've been having a lot of bad luck because they're lazy, because they're, they're, they don't, may not be acting with integrity as well with the, with the Knight of Pentacles reversed. But the Three of Wands right underneath the Five of Cups, that they're right together. So this is like suffering but making a decision. This is making a definite decision, coming up with a plan. Focusing on the future and we saw that with the world card as well. So this is making a decision getting prepared Somebody may have been getting prepared or now they're prepared. There could be a departure here There's probably gonna be a departure here This is some sort of loss with the wheel of fortune reverse and the three of swords and the five of cups It's a separation. It is it's a separation We definitely have a separation here the decision is made. Threes are the decision is made. Okay, it's made. Twos are the indecisiveness. So it's not, this is like the decision is made to focus on the future, to move forward. This is somebody who is ready. They are ready. They're ready. It's like their bags are packed and they're ready to go. They're ready. This is this is like this is like expanding. After not being practical and thinking about it a lot, not taking any action. There may have been some unfaithfulness somewhere along the line with the Knight of Pentacles reversed. A lot of grieving, a lot of heartache, a lot of suffering. There is another person here that is more, it feels like this person's more desirable, just being honest. Three of Wands, making a decision to depart. I feel like somebody is departing. They are. It's like they're giving up. You know, they're, they're done holding on. They've had one setback after another. 
they've been analyzing and thinking a lot and that they are looking for more I'm looking for more I'm looking for more than this it's like there's been there's we have somebody here that I don't know if this person um, didn't plan you know they didn't plan on moving on but things happen ace of wands ace of wands is a new exciting opportunity this is passion this is desire this is taking action this is a new sexual partner or a new exciting opportunity climbing the ladder going down a new path taking a new adventure so I do believe that we have somebody here that is going to be taking action. They got this desire and it's, I feel like it's sudden. It could be a sudden desire, right? There could be an instant attraction here. You know, sometimes that happens. This could be a very sudden decision, Ace of Wands next to the Three of Wands. Suddenly deciding to, I don't know, travel or move or go in this new direction. This is sudden. It is. But I feel like, I, I feel like there's been thinking, okay? It may be a sudden decision now. It may be like, I got to go right now. But I think, it's, I think it's been thought out, okay? You know what I'm saying? Starting fresh, starting with a clean slate with that Ace of Wands. That's like starting over. There could be a new flame, a new desire. You know, it just is a spark. It's just a, a spark, a spark. We definitely have somebody here that is thinking about another person or they're thinking about somebody that they're very, very attracted to and they've been stuck. Grieving. But action is about to be taken. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? This is following the heart. It's a new start in love. It's a new beginning. This is love. Following the heart. Opening the heart. Expressing feelings. This is a flood of emotion. This is, this is showing emotions. Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings. This is a new start in love. It is. It's a new start in love. Two aces. New beginnings. It's a passionate new beginning in love. Following the heart. Somebody is following their heart in a new direction. They are. They are. Somebody's going to be receiving an exciting offer. It's like an invite or a message. They're going to be receiving something that really excites them. This could be suddenly in love or a sudden love or sudden something. Sudden um, expression of feelings. Taking action. But there's pain here. There is pain. This could be a healing love. Somebody has been suffering. They have been. Hmm. Sudden desire for love. That's what that is. Ace of Wands next to the Ace of Cups. Sudden desire for something more, Four of Cups as well. It's like, I want more. I want something more. Somebody's going to be receiving something exciting. They're, this is like exciting. It's a new spark. It's a new flame. It's a new exciting opportunity. 
things getting better. It's a time of growth. It's very fertile. Things are gonna. This, this is sparks. It really is. It's sparks flying. It's it's growth and love. So. <laughs> Knight of Cups reverse. So there's def it's gonna there's emotions. I mean the Ace of Cups is emotions as well. So we got some sort of emotions here. We have somebody here that uh, Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. This is about security, stability, long term, permanent success. But the Knight of Cups reversed is emotions all over the place may not have been looking for a relationship. This is somebody that, uh, I don't know if they're passive or they're weak or they, they brush problems under the rug. Doesn't accept their feelings, doesn't honor their feelings. This may be somebody that is very un unpredictable, is moody, you know, is all over the place knight of cups not really looking for a relationship wasn't really looking for it wasn't really looking for a relationship or really 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 wasn't looking for it but the ten of pentacles is all about security long-term success permanent something permanent looking for something permanent financial success this could be like, um, I wonder if somebody got themselves into a relationship just for the money as well. But I, what I just heard was marrying for money. So I'm not sure if we dealt with somebody that, you know, speaks of love, but they don't uh, follow through. Words are one thing, actions are another. So I feel like we have somebody here that may have been delusional. They weren't practical, they weren't being realistic, they weren't grounded, they definitely weren't grounded. They were focusing on something that, I don't know if this already ended and they were refusing to let it go. They have a new flame and it, it, there's a need to accept that there's a new flame. You know, that there's, that, you know, there's a need to accept it. There is another woman here. Anyhow, I do believe that we have a relationship that is over. I do. I feel like we have somebody here that is dropping out. They're giving up. They have been uh, focusing on somebody. It's like an unrequited love situation. It really is. Not really looking for a relationship because they may have been waiting for the past to come back. For some of you, with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, that's like waiting for the past to come back. I do believe, I mean, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of, that's like a sudden, it could be even epiphany. It could be a sudden desire. It could be a vision. Somebody may get this vision. They'd be making a decision to, you know, the Knight of Pentacles reverse is stop. Okay, it's a dead stop. It's like to stop, you know and focus on something else. I do believe that we have somebody here that is about to focus on something else. I do. This is very exciting. It is. It's an exciting opportunity for love, definitely. Taking action, going in a new direction. Reaching for the light, coming out of the darkness. We talked about this yesterday. We did. This is definitely reaching for the light. And there's attraction here. There's a strong desire. There's a strong attraction. There is. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is departing. They're, they've been grieving. They've had their foot in the wheel. They've been in a relationship with somebody that doesn't, or they've been holding on or grieving over a relationship with somebody that doesn't really want to be in a relationship with them. There could be some unfaithfulness here, you know, oh, something like that. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I mean, we have everybody, so it doesn't really matter. Three of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let me just make sure we cover everybody here. 
So we got grieving, grieving over a loss, wallowing, you know, crying over the loss, crying over the spilled milk and making a decision. I feel like a definite decision is, it's like I'm focusing on the future now. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop moping. I'm going to stop crying. I'm, it's over. I'm done. I'm done. The decision is made. I feel like there could definitely be a departure here. Goodbye. You know, there's an exciting opportunity. It's passionate. It's, 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 it's emotionally fulfilling. This is about accepting, going with the flow, opening the heart in a new direction. So, yeah. Let's keep on. I just cut it to the Three of Cups, which is a celebration. It's a celebration, it's joy, it's happiness, it's socializing, it's getting together, dating, whatever. I don't know if it is dating, but it could be um, getting together, socializing, um, having fun. Magician reversed. Magician reversed is manipulation. It's no plan. It's unplanned. There could be an unplanned departure here. This could be acting on impulse, just doing something, you know, impulsively. And I do see impulse here, absolutely. Impulse, but there's been thinking. There has been thinking. We have somebody here that didn't, they, like we talked about the magician yesterday. I'm not going to go over it again. You can watch yesterday's, but they didn't know their value, right? They didn't, they didn't take action. I do believe that we have somebody here that um, has now made a decision. They have now made a decision. This is, and we had this was this one as well, a different deck, Six of Wands. This is victory. This is making progress. This is confidence, finding the confidence to uh, stop fighting a battle, to stop playing a games. We do have somebody here that's just about done playing. They are done. I feel like they are done. They're done with the battle. They're done fighting. The war is over. Stepping out. Stepping out of the war zone, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. This is this is somebody that is has a lot of support, is going to get a lot of support. Maybe they were afraid they weren't going to get support. They are going to be get support. They will be respected for making the right decision. This is a leader. This is a warrior. This is somebody that has gained a lot of experience through the battles that they have fought. They needed to go through these battles to get to where they are today. And they will be respected for, uh, it's almost like surrendering or giving, it's almost like giving up the battle. It is. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to fight anymore. There's a lot of respect in that. Yeah, there really is. When you can find the confidence to own up to whatever your challenges are, that's respectable. It's very respectable. It's when you can do the right thing for everybody involved. That's very respectable. This is gaining respect for a job well done. So somebody may be getting some sort of recognition for uh, taking charge, you know, for taking the leadership position and doing what needs to be done. Yeah. New spark, sudden desire, sudden desire to express feelings and follow the heart in a new direction towards somebody that, you know, I feel like there's a strong desire to be with. I just cut it to the tower, which is a major life change. It's a shock. It's a surprise. Get prepared for a major life change. This is a dismantling of a false sense of security. Starting with a clean slate. And I saw that earlier with the Ace of Wands. Starting over. Starting over from scratch. Somebody's going to be building a new foundation someplace else. Sudden extremely sudden change get prepared this is a surprise you're about to receive something that it's expect the unexpected this has to do with passion love feelings attraction desires in the future good luck